Hey guys, welcome back to Web3 Money. Today we'll be doing a token research and specifically the theme is world domination. So we're going to review an article I just wrote on our blog, Web3 Money. Um, so we're going to talk about WorldCoin. So this is a very famous coin that uh, has been released a couple years ago at least uh, from Sam Altman and a bunch of other people. Uh, their claim is proof of humanity, a worldwide passport, basically Palpatine and Big Brother coming together into one dystopian future. So we're going to talk about WorldCoin. Uh, here I basically wrote uh, who the founders are, what is the unique value proposition, Ooh. the price and market performance. So if you want to go ahead and uh, have a nice review on the coin itself, what is WorldCoin, uh, definitely go ahead and sign up to our Web3 Money blog. Um, so let's go ahead and just talk about the the price uh, overview. So clearly, you know, ever, ever since it came out, right, uh, it hasn't been performing as much. And even in the last, uh, we could even say like a, a, long, a long time ago, but the project was released about July or this past summer. And look at this. Ever since... Ever since the middle of February, um, the price just skyrocketed, right? And I mean, there's there's a lot of news going about Sam Altman. You guys know with you know OpenAI and him trying to raise you know so much money to create you know a microchip factory for the uh, for the microprocessors. I'm pretty sure that he's trying to go ahead and compete with uh, Nvidia. Uh, this is a very dystopian future in general. I mean. The, we're going to have to see exactly what the developments are, but it definitely looks scary, right? Like uh, uh, one people, one passport under one single world, I guess you could say, or, you know, kind of like Big Brother, right? That This is exactly what people are scared about. I love, by the way, how everything we're scared about and that we fear in art, whether it's through a book like 1984 Animal Farm or whether it's a movie like The Matrix or whatever – or even a Marvel movie like The Age of Ultron or any literally any kind of dystopian future like the Terminator, we want to go ahead and create it. It's like it's funny. Like it's it's like we we see it on the movie, we see it, we we read it in a book, but we don't understand the implications and yet we still want to play with the danger. It's like, oh you shouldn't go there, but maybe you should go there. You know, and so anyways, that's that's for a more philosophical uh, conversation. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, and do some reviews. So yeah, the, the price action uh, definitely has increased by a lot. Uh, the market cap has gone phew, skyrocketed, literally over a billion dollars. You know, a couple of weeks ago it was at two hundred million dollars. So uh, you could tell already, you know, what's going on in general. Um, their website absolutely beautiful. You know, like in terms of marketing, branding, whatever it is. For every human, you know, privacy first, owned by everyone. What does that really mean? What does that entail? We don't really know, um, at least yet. Like, will it actually be decentralized? Will, you know, an orb, like they are promising you, like this thing, would this world ID actually look at you in every single way possible or not? We don't know. Um, I still haven't done a lot of uh, research on this, right? But why don't we go ahead and... Uh, ask AI or even, you know, have um, perplexity tell us exactly what the what this orb could do. So let me go ahead and just do world ID. The world coin community is building a more human ecosystem, economic, uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So let's go ahead and check out what is the world coin orb okay let me go ahead and review that okay it's not <laughs> i love how it's verifying that i'm human that's funny having this conversation is it listening to me maybe i don't know okay what is the orb in world coin and what will it do? <laughs> I think it's, uh, this is very funny. It's like almost what I just said, something 
on my computer just listened and whatnot, but I don't know. It's funny. We try another tab. Nah. Okay. Let's just go world. Let's just go on this section. So world ID, a more human passport for the internet, more powerful, more integrations. Okay. Let's go ahead and look at th this trailer. Introducing World ID 2.0. The privacy first human passport for the internet. <laughs> World ID 2.0 introduces apps. A new way to use integrations to verify your accounts online using World ID. You can explore all apps on the new Worldcoin App Store and build your own with the new platform. The second generation protocol also has new verification levels, including Orb Plus with face authentication so only you get to use your ID for important actions. These and more upgrades are designed to make World ID 2.0 the most secure, private, and inclusive proof of humanity for the internet. All right. First of all, a couple of comments Human here. Um, does Does anyone recognize what this looks like? This literally looks like the Death Star from Star Wars, and no one is freaking out. I don't get it. Uh, second comment is that I think it's pretty cool that you have like this super app. I think like the Chinese have been trying to do this or they have successfully done it where like all of your socials, all of your, you know, merchant, you know, accounts, everything is connected into one single unified platform kind of thing. Um, it does seem like they're trying to build upon the success of the app store with the iPhone. So this is some, it's definitely a cool project. Um, in terms of its technology, uh, is this what people want? Probably, you know, we could go with all the cons conspiracies we want at the end of the day, like at the, it's, it doesn't matter. The point is that if, if this is what the market decides, this is exactly what the market will receive. Um, it does look cool, it does look promising, amazing branding, I love how clean it is. Um, I have my dystopian prejudices, obviously, uh, but, we should also embrace technology and uh, there's a debate. Anyway, so we, we, we saw the world app. Let's talk, let's see their world coin. Okay, so it's not it's not available here. Anyways, so, so we saw the world coin, right? We checked on uh, we checked on the world coin uh, on coin market cap. It's uh, yeah. Building the largest human network to improve trust online and access to the global economy, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, listen, like the, the passport looks amazing. Where does the coin or the crypto token come in place? I'm not exactly sure. Uh, let's go ahead and do a little bit more research. Okay, so according to the webpage, while network effects will ultimately come from useful applications being built on top of the financial and identity infrastructure, the token is issued to all network participants to align their incentives around the growth of the network. This is especially important early on to bootstrap the network and bypass the cold start problem. This could lead to the world coin token to become the widest distributed digital asset. This is the thing. Is this only about growth? Like, is this, is this like another marketing? Is this a marketing scheme for tokens? Like... I don't understand, like, I don't think Satoshi, I could be wrong, but I don't think Satoshi wanted growth. I mean, he wanted to be the longest lasting cryptocurrency with Bitcoin. And obviously it, it grew like crazy over the past couple of years, but I don't know. I have a, I don't know. What's the point of it? I get it, like it's it's incentives, It's you're able to go ahead and build on top of it, but once the growth stops, or let's say once all of humanity is on it, what's the point of WorldCoin? To have another USD and like have the same problems that we have with the 
with the government right now. I mean, what exactly is going to be different, right? Um, it clearly states from here that the world to the world coin token is used as an incentive and as a growth mechanism, but will it be used as an economic distributed digital asset the way it's promising? We'll have to see. What is exactly going? What does that mean exactly in terms of its uh, implications? Um, we have to reflect on this, everyone. We have to learn more money, more finance. We have to really understand the problems of e economics on micro and macro. Uh, this is something that you know we should all be doing as responsible citizens, not only of our respective countries, but literally of the internet world. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching Web3 Money and uh, sign up for more. <laughs>